This is Coombe Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in fight camp. It's week three, finally week three. I'm joined by Hopi Price, who will contest in his fifth professional fight come Saturday. First of all, how are you, mate? I'm all good. Uh, long journey down, but finally all settled in. Just see Jordan Gill rock up here. I think Dave's due to arrive tomorrow, I think. Is that right? Uh, he's on his way down now, so he should be over in the next hour or so. So, what can you tell us about your opponent you're facing this week? Do you know anything about him? Um, I haven't seen much of him. He's uh, from Italy, he's 5-0, oh, three knockouts, so unbeaten, um, a good test on paper. But um, I'm going to do a good job on him Saturday night anyways. Four fights for you so far, so a perfect start to your professional career. Have you noticed subtle improvements in each of your performances yourself? Yeah, I think... More so in every performance, just getting that little bit better and more so in the gym, you know, I think there's been a long time in between fights. It was five, five six months ago, I think, last, since the last box. But um, the improvements I've been making in the gym inspiring uh, has all been good and I've got to go out there Saturday and do show the improvements. Hopefully after Saturday night, you're 5-0 and oh, and then when you start getting to like seven, eight fights, that's when you can kind of possibly see titles in sight. Yeah, I think one or two more fights... Um, and then I can start looking towards maybe the English title or something like that. Um, move on, British, Commonwealth, European, full sweep, I'm coming for all of them. That's the right way to do it, isn't it? I know sometimes people kind of miss one of those phases, whether that's kind of the English title or the... Uh, some, some even skip the British and then go on to European, but I feel like if you do it the right way, then you gain experience at them levels to put you in good stead for what you want to be a world champion. I think you gain the experience and then when you look back on your career, you can, you can say, look, I've, I've won the, the lot of them. I think too many people now, I think, like you said, they skip the British or they win these uh, intercontinental in, international belts and then try and get managed for a world title. And they're, they're missing a lot of good fights. And uh, I, I want to be one of these to look back on my career and have all the belts at home. So that's what I'm going for. Just going a little bit off topic here, but obviously you're here with your, your dad and I'm assuming that's your little brother as well, yeah. Um, and your dad, obviously, when I was talking to Zelfa, was kind of giving us some advice saying, basically, like, don't blink because he used to show me a photo when he was a little boy and uh, I think that's what kind of every parent who's got children of a certain age, that's what they say, isn't it? Just, like, take you can't take the time back, so, you know. It's the time's the most invaluable thing, isn't it? So, um... Yeah, we were speaking about, about kids and things and he was saying it doesn't seem two minutes ago since since I was a little boy and as I showed you the picture I was in, in, in a car park actually in one of these holiday inns um, and he was having me shadow boxing in the car park and a blink of an eye now I'm 21, four and I was a pro looking to go five another week and so time's flied. Just to give people a little bit of context, so Zelfa Barrett who's just had a little baby girl, Lyndon Arthur who's got a two year old and a eight year old I think and uh, we were talking about the whole daughter situation about, and I, my attitude to it was, I'll just worry about it when I need to, which is in like a good like 17, 18 years. It'll soon fly by though, it'll soon fly by. So uh, you better get yourself prepared for it. Well, it will fly by, but I think by then, I'll, I might have a different mindset on things. Right now, I'm kind of every new dad like, oh, she's not doing this and she's not doing that, but I think, what? She's only a baby at the minute. What do you mean? She's only a baby, but, um, I can't really have too much to say on the matter because I've got all brothers. I ain't got no sisters, so I, I can't really say no, but I think I'll be a bit strict if I had a sister, so uh, if I could become a dad of a girl one day, I'm sure I'll be a strict dad as well. <laughs> I think you will be. Obviously, one interesting thing we were talking about is when you said to me that, or you were saying to us that, you know, even like you now, you'd have to kind of go and ask, like in the traveller community, you'd have to go and ask the father of the girl that you wanted to take out permission before you took her out, which is which is a good way yeah, it's a good way it just shows a bit of respect you know um, I'm not sure many people have been knocking in my door in a few years time <laughs> I think they'll know what's coming but um, yeah I think I think it's the best way you know you go and you show that respect and hopefully you get the all go ahead don't you if not you're in trouble if that was like a that's a bit of an old school mentality isn't it of of going even for a date and I can understand why people do it and, and don't do it because I suppose if you get the father's permission for, for their daughter, then that's kind of a foot in the right direction, isn't it? Yeah, you're, you're half in there then, you, you, you know you're there. But if he says no, then you, you're in a bit of a sticky position because you? you don't know what to do. You either leave or you go behind his back, so 
I don't know. Well, I don't know if you're going through this at the moment. I don't know if you asked, you've been asking permission or whatever. But listen, uh, first of all, you've got a job to do on Saturday night. I've got a job to do on Saturday. I don't need to ask no permission there. I'm not at that, that, that bit at the minute, so I'm all right. Hopey, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. And uh, yeah, best of luck. We'll grab a word for you after on Saturday night. Have you got anything else you'd like to add? Um, Saturday night, um, a little... Um, my brother's mate, so a close family friend of ours, little Frank Vary, sadly passed away. Um, and I just want to say that this fight on Saturday night is for him and I dedicate this fight to him and his family and all the best wishes to his family. It's a really nice touch. Hopey, thank you very much to, for talking to IFL TV. And like I said, we'll grab a word of you after your fight come the weekend. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Yeah.